what up everybody it's your boy young fizz and welcome back to another tutorial we are back inside the machine and today i want to show you guys how to free up some cpu space inside the machine so that we're able to use more omnispheres and serato samples and whatever plugin is your favorite vst plugin that you like to use that's cpu intensive all right so this is going to be a two method tutorial the first method is going to be the simple drag and drop the second method is going to be how to record internally all right so before i get into the tutorial i'm going to need you guys to do me a favor go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so that way when i drop a new video you're the first one to know about it all right so let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial here all right so the first way and the easiest way and the fastest way to do this is to do the click and drag method all right so as you can see here i have serato sample i'm gonna load that on the screen and you see i'm using a filter and i'm using the corral plugin here let me go ahead and play the sample so you know what i'm working with So basically I want to condense all three of these plugins into one plugin and to do that I'm just going to drag and drop an audio waveform into a empty sound slot. So let's go ahead and do that. All right so on the right hand side of your screen there's a wave symbol over here and we're going to go ahead and click that wave symbol and drag it to a sound slot under the instruments tab that we're not using. So let's, let's just do 16 and we're going to change the color so we're not confused. I'm going to turn this to red. All right so that's going to be red. All right so now I'm able to come back up here to Serato sample and I can turn all these plugins off. And let's go ahead and hit play. So now I can simply get rid of all those plugins and then, you know, I have my other plugin right down here and I'm still able to edit. So I just go to click that and then I go to the little waveform on the left hand side of the screen. And then we just want to make sure we're in the edit tab. There's two tabs, there's record and there's edit. We just want to make sure we're under edit and then we can edit it as normal. All right, so that is the first method. And the cool thing about this method is that you can still change the tempo anytime you get ready to. So say it's at 152, we wanna bring it all the way down to 100. So let's play this at 100. All right, so that is the first method there. The second way to record inside a machine is to do just that is to sample yourself inside a machine so we're going to go back up here to the serato sample and again this is what i'm working with and we're going to sample myself so we're going to go ahead and click on an empty sound slot i'm going to come back over here to 16. i'm going to click the waveform on the left hand side of the screen and then i'm going to change my source to internal and then I'm gonna select my length. So I want that to be eight bars. I'm gonna hit start. Now it's not gonna start recording until we tell machine to start recording. So I'm just gonna simply hit my play button on my machine controller here. All right, so it stops recording automatically after eight bars. And so we have our sample loaded right here. So remember, we're working on number 16. Let me highlight this so we know we're going to do it orange this time. And then we can go ahead and disengage this so we don't get confused. So my sample is down here. And so as you know, if I come down here, I could go down here and adjust my sample I can stretch it out do what I want to do but say for example you don't you don't want to use this sampler here what you want to do you want to turn that into an audio plugin and so to do that you're going to come up here go to internal and you're going to do audio and then your sample is going to appear right there So that's how you record internally and free up some space inside the machine. So I hope you guys learned something from this tutorial. It's your boy, Young Fizz. I want to thank everybody for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. So every time I upload a new video, you're the first one to know about it. Thank you so much for watching again. It's your boy, Young Fizz, and we'll see you next time. We out.